Okay, so I haven't really recorded since the last video, which is um, doing the clutch line and slay cylinder, which is good. It all works. But there's been quite a bit of stuff that I've been doing to it already. So that um, water, the water, the cooling leak that I had right there, it was the water pump. It was the gasket. And I guess two bolts were a little too long, so it wasn't letting the water pump fully sit together with the block so I just took that to a mechanic because I didn't want to deal with that so they did it real quick in like a day the next day I had the car already and now when I went under that same day that I brought the car back I just like looked under under the car and I saw more leaks so yeah uh, I have a couple of um, oil leaks on the car and I also don't want to deal with them so today I'm going to take it to a different mechanic that knows a bunch about Hondas. I don't know if you guys know, his, he goes by Perfect Honda on Instagram. He, he's done some work to my distributor before, he rebuilt it with like new OEM stuff because it was also leaking months ago and now I'm going to take it to, I'm going to take the car to him this time for the first time because the first time I met him I only took the distributor so this time I'm going to take the whole car so he could work on all the leaks. I told him if he could come here because I don't really know if this car could handle driving so far right now because he's about 50 miles away from me and the farthest I've driven is just to work which is like six miles from here but um, what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to just button up everything and like just double check that everything is tight because of all the motor mounts that I have we'll probably shake stuff loose I know it's doing something with the shifter which I'll show you guys in a bit once I go under the car but I have all new mounts all around you can see you can see, you can see the torque mounts both of them are new and this one is not that you see the bushings kind of like poking out so that one I don't know about that but both of them are like solid bushings, solid mounts. And I also have my innovative mounts all around. And I finally put the rear one, which I didn't have before, which you can't, you can't just see it. No, you can kind of see it. But all the bushings are on, so it shakes the car a lot. So, yeah, I'm gonna just. Uh, to go around and just tighten everything up. The car smokes a lot after driving because of the new turbo blanket that I put. So once the car gets really hot, it starts smoking a lot, and then it always it always scares me because I think like the car is something else is causing that smoke, probably because of the leaks. But it's just this. Maybe you'll see later. But I'm gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit and uh, just try to tighten every important stuff down. And uh, right now it's early, it's like nine in the morning and I'm gonna take it to him in the afternoon. So I'll continue recording once I get over there or once I'm driving over there. So what? Okay, so one of the first things that I uh, fixed is um, I noticed the last time I drove when it was getting dark, only this headlight turns on, this one wasn't turning on. And usually what I do when one of them doesn't turn on, I just like, on and off a couple times and usually it turns on but not anymore it's just dead so i was just looking the box is fine this is the one that doesn't work this is the one i've had on the car forever um since i put the hids and i guess it just took a took a poop it doesn't work anymore i'll show you guys turn on the lights see i'm not turning on but you can see this one does turn on. So, luckily, I found uh, this box of random stuff and lights that I have. These are for like the rear tail lights and just random lights. I have the regulars. I was gonna actually put the regulars, but I found one HID, just one. And luckily it worked. So uh, let me switch it real quick and I'll show you. All right, so there's the old one black and then this is a white one there's a new one or not a new one but the other one and you'll see it turns on 
Now I wonder if it's gonna be a different color than these, cause I know this is kind of like, has a greenish bluish tint to them, these. I don't know how this one's gonna be. Oh, it's, wow, it's bright. Let me put it in the headlight first. And um, let's see if the colors match. All right, I have it all nice and tucked and everything. So let's see if it'll look the same. Yep, it's looking the same. Wow, my headlights are so bad. I need to redo them again. Hmm, this one seems a more blue. You can't tell on camera, but this is more of a whitish greenish. This is now a blue. Yep, for sure. Well, oh well. That's the least of my problems right now. So, now, button up whatever. What I really need to button up is the stuff under the car, like the new control arms, because I feel it a little weird. So, um, and then the, ex the um, shifter that I'll show you right now. That's the more important stuff. I don't want my shifter falling while I'm on the freeway or something. So, yeah, let me get to it. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I'm in, under the car, right? I'm over here by the shifter. Look at this. It's falling off. And it's hitting the exhaust. That's how I know. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see or not. Because I can't even see. But it's hitting the exhaust, the bottom piece of the shifter, because that's slipping off. Watch, I'll try to fix it right now by hand. As you can see there, it went back up, so it's good now. I don't know if I have the wrong bolts or I don't know why. I'm guessing that's it because I really, I, I misplaced everything. So I probably just used some that fit and that's it. But I gotta fix that ASAP because I don't want my shifter to be falling while I'm driving. And I'm stuck with a, without a transmission. So I think everything should be good. The only other little problem I found is this wheel is moving but also because the first two times that I used the car I forgot to put this axle nut back on and I never noticed until my cousin pointed it out so I pretty much lost mine he let me borrow one but as you can see here or you probably can't even see but there's play when I'm moving the wheel <clears throat> Alright, so here's a little update of the car. Um, I was supposed to go with uh, Perfect Honda, right? The uh, car didn't make it too far. Probably like 20 minutes and it died. So I'm just waiting for a tow truck now. I'm under uh, the 210. And uh, yeah, just waiting for a tow truck. Go back home. My Uber's here. 